What's up people of YouTube? I'm here to give you guys an unboxing of a 100 inch projector screen by Elite Screens. Now it was already hard enough for me to choose and decide what projector I wanted to go with, let alone what screen I wanted to go with. I actually had, had a harder time finding a screen versus finding a, a projector. The projector I got is a $600 projector. Um, I also got an unboxing coming up for that too, so be looking out for that. It may be already up by the time you watch this video, or it may not be. Subscribe if you want to stay tuned to my videos. But anyways, so the screen itself is a manually pull-down screen. You got to pull it down yourself. I was going to get the electronical one for 80 more dollars, but I decided, you know what, for now, since I'm not really sure what screen I want to go with, I'm going to go ahead and get a pull-down one by these guys because it's my first time buying the projector screen. I didn't want to pay extra money to get it if I wasn't satisfied with it. So. I say a little bit down the line, I might buy an electronical one if I like the screen by this in particular company. Um, but it was real hard because all these screens, every last one of them, even the high-end screens, have a lot of mixed reviews. Five stars, four stars, three stars, two stars, and one stars. All over the place. A lot of people said the mechanisms break after like a month, even after one day. Um, it stopped going up after like a year or so. So um, I'm really skeptical about these screens. I've been reading a lot of different reviews and stuff like that. But first impressions of me pulling the screen out and letting it up, it feels super smooth and premium. Like it feels ultra smooth. Um, and it didn't really cost me that much. And that's another thing, you pay for what you get. And a lot of people have been saying that inside the reviews, well, you know, the screen is barely over a hundred bucks. So you pay for what you get, you know, and other screens run you around 300 bucks. And I didn't want to spend that much on that right now. Um, and I currently took my 4K TV back to get a projector because 4K TV, just to touch on that real fast, kind of had too much input lag on my game consoles and on my PC. It made sense on my PC because my graphics card don't support HDMI 2.0, but on my game consoles, it still had the input lag. You know, playing Halo, playing other games, even non-shooter games, you still, you move the analog stick and it moves a millisecond later. So that's what I'm worried about with this projector. I know it's clear because I've been seeing YouTube videos. I hope, Hopefully it's clear enough versus an LCD screen and stuff like that. Um, and hopefully it doesn't have any input lag. If it does, I'm going to go with the, the same model or the same brand of the projector, but I'm going to go with the gaming series. They came out with a white one. I'm going to put the model number and stuff up inside the video and it's made for gaming for the Xbox One, PS4 and Xbox 360 and PS3 and it's basically made for that so it should have no input lag and stuff like that but it costs $250 more so I might have to dig into my summer savings and take some of that money out and you know I just put it back in but you know I need me I'm trying to get into the projector type stuff so we're going to see what goes on but anyways that was my little unboxing thank you guys for watching this video it's a 100 inch screen trust me the box is huge i was hope i was wishing i went with an 85 inch screen so i can put it where i actually wanted to put it at but i decided to go with a 100 inch i think later on down the line i'm gonna get an electronical 80 inch screen or 85 inch screen so i can put it exactly where i want to put it at inside my game room price overall for the projector screen mounting bracket from the ceiling and the projector cost me around 700 like around 800 dollars yeah about 800 dollars a little bit over 800 dollars altogether which is around the same price, actually cheaper than the 4K TV I got. So, you know, I didn't have to put no more money with it. And I ended up saving a little bit of money, brought a couple of games. So with that said, man, I'm out. Peace.